I had done a show talking about uh, whether or not you as a guy should date women who live with their parents. And I mentioned in that show that there was a woman that I dated that was like 30 plus and still lived at home with their parents. And I thought that was very weird and odd because, you know, in most American cultures, when you get out of college, you go and make your own life. You go get your own place. You go live by yourself. And that's not all cultures around the world, but that is a very Americanized thing. And the person that I was dating, while she was born here, her parents were not. And so in their culture, it was just normal for the woman to live at home until such a time as she was either in a very serious relationship and got engaged, at which point it's like, oh, you're going to actually make a life with this guy. It's now time for you to skid out along, right? But it was very weird to get used to. And so I said that in the video, I said, you know, that you have to really look at, you know, if it's one thing where it's just like, she's like, she's got stunted growth and she's not trying to get off the couch. That's one thing. But there also are cultures where that's perfectly normal. And so sometimes there's a clash of ideals where you're thinking, why is she still living at home? That's not adult of her. And she's thinking, but why would I leave home? Like, if the goal is for me to get married to somebody that's going to be taking care of me, then wouldn't it make sense for me to stay home with parents that are taking care of me until a guy comes along to then take over that task? Anyway, so I had a woman comment on that video. And she said, interesting, she lives with her parents at least she's not going through bodies. Simple. In my culture, if you live with a man or alone without being married, you are considered a slore factory. It rhymes with slore. They recommend to live home, save money, get a higher education, enjoy family and good times with friends while casually dating until you meet your king and then you can leave, LOL. Not saying women who live Woman who lives alone sleeps around, no, but the chances are higher. And you'll know she's coming from a place of love and will always have a place to run to if she's ever in danger. Now, that makes sense to me. Like I said, I'm not saying you as a guy should wholeheartedly date women to live at home, but I am saying there's a different angle to this. And so like she says, for one, there's a benefit to that in that if she's at home living with her parents, she has people under her or over her that are kind of keeping tabs on her and monitoring a bit to where most more likely than not, the woman's going to probably be like, I don't want to uh, make my parents upset. I don't want them to think less of me. And so she's probably going to have a lower body count if she's at home, not all the time, but she probably will. In addition to the fact that like she says, yeah, like there's a, there's a lesser chance of her being a slore factory where she's just going out humping everything that she pleases just because she had one or two good dates with the guy versus in the culture it could be like, well, you have to be super serious to, even bring him home, which means they're going to also take super serious the idea of sleeping with somebody until they're actually in a serious relationship. So that's actually a, another positive of a woman living at home. And then she says, as a woman, I moved out of my parents' house. And because I lived alone, most, most men, not all, would more likely ask me to come over to my place or try to come over after our first date. They never did. And then I canceled my lease within six months and moved back to my parents' home. Quote, tradition never fades. All the women in my family are married. Never witnessed a divorce in my family. But hey, this is America. So what is she getting at? You know, there was something to be said for just because we have certain ideals here in America that we think we should have based on having more freedoms and being able to do what we want. That's not always the best mode of operandi to get what you actually want. So think about this, right? In this country today, we have people, we graduate, we, we all live by ourselves. We do things by ourselves. We do what we please. And yet there are so many women today that are single, that are depressed, that are lonely, that are on all types of meds, that are never going to have kids because in, a, in the process of living on their own, living this single lifestyle and helping whoever they want to, they're not giving to anybody that's trying to be super serious with them. They're delaying themselves being able to get into a family with a guy that's going to actually love and care for them and end up getting pregnant to have a bunch of kids. And so they end up by themselves. And so this is not to say again that her way uh, or her culture's way of doing things is the right way to do something. But she does make a strong argument in the fact that she says all the women in her family, they're all married and she's never seen anybody get divorced. Now, some people come up here and say, well, just because they didn't get divorced doesn't mean that they're always happy. They could just be blah, blah. That is completely true. But I hate when people take uh, an example of a thing and say, well, because it could not be true, then they're wrong. Like, no, just because they, hey, the women in her family could be with guys that they don't love and whatever, right? But I refuse to believe that that's the higher probability. What I more like to believe is that because there's a tight-knit family that's going to make sure that uh, they're looking out for her best interest, 
And that when she goes out there, she has people to bounce ideas off of like, hey, is this the right guy to date? Is this guy treating me right? I want your wise counsel because, hey, you're married. You made it work. Am I looking for the right stuff? That they may actually have good ideas about, hey, maybe it's better for the daughter to stay home. That way she's not out there just humping a whole bunch of dudes and not getting any of them to commit. And then that'll allow us to help her pick out a good dude that's going to treat her well and help her raise a family. And I think so many people these days get caught up on like, well, I want to fall in love for love. And I want to fall in love because this person makes me feel this is that. And they forget about the responsibility part. Like, hey, the goal is, you know, dating isn't supposed to be this thing where you just you just pick a person at random and then it's just you and that person. The original idea of marriage is you guys are going to be connecting families. So it's not just you and her. It's going to be you and her and her mom and her dad and her siblings and her aunts and uncles and cousins and blah, blah, blah. Like you're supposed to be merging families. It can't just be all about, but she humped me really good and made me feel great. And so I think that her argument of like woman, a woman staying home, again, she she puts here forth a very good argument. Now, again, you don't have to agree. You could very well be like, hey, I'm sorry. I like my girls that are able to be have their own place so I can do stuff to them when I want to without having to worry about mom and dad being there. You're in your complete right. I just want you to consider what she's saying here and see if maybe that would be an angle you consider, given that there are some benefits to a woman that does not have her own place and is staying with her parents. Like not being so promiscuous, not potentially having STDs, not having a whole bunch of kids running around. Like those are some pretty good positives that where I'd be like, you know, the, the older version of me now, if I was in that scenario where I was going after a woman and I found out she lived at home, at the point that I found out that's part of her culture and what it was about, I may be more lenient towards, okay, I can accept this more so than I was back then. And even back then, I was able to make it work, but it took me a long time to get used to the idea that, wait, so you're living at home, but you also have a job and you can support yourself. So it's not just you're mooching off of them. Like, uh, okay. And that's, as an American, that is, that's a hard thing to get used to. So I just wanted to point out there are other ways of doing things. And maybe that gives you some open insight to that, you know? You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.